How you doing friends? Welcome back. My name is Rick and this is Winders Ranger. I've got a bit of a problematic task to work on today. This has been a consistent issue with this particular RV. This is a Heartland model Fuel 365 I think is what it is. 360 or 65. Uh, it's a 40, 41 foot fifth wheel toy hauler. And one of the issues that I've had with this trailer is the uh, it, it, it stems around the black tank, but I think what it is is the vent pipe that vents the black tank, and I think the gray, the gray tank also. Normally those two pipes, those vents, would go up to the roof and there would be a, um, a cap or a head on top of that. They make different ones. There's, a, I think, a Siphon 360, I think, makes a version that's supposed to be uh, to help, you know, with odors and things inside the trailer. Normally it would vent to the roof and what that does, it, it serves two purposes. Purpose number one is any odor that emanates from the tank goes up to the roof and is, is gone, doesn't come into the living space. And uh, function number two is it helps with uh, when you dump the tank or you, you drain the tank, if there's no way for that tank to vent or to bring air in as the water goes out, it's going to suck the tank shut. Um, potentially damaging the tank. It's kind of like if you take a gallon of milk jug, a gallon milk jug full and you dump it up, you pour it upside down and you you dump the contents of the jug out, it you know it bubbles and gurgles and it ends up sucking the sides of the bottle in. It's kind of the same same principle here. So normally these vent to the roof. Well this one I don't think does. And the reason why I don't think that it does is because when the great when the black tank gets full I get a bit of an odor inside the trailer. I also get that same odor when I dump the tank. It's kind of frustrating. Um, normally, it's not that bad. You know, you, you, you dump the gray tank, you open the vent, the, the roof vent here with the fan, open that up, air things out, and everything's fine. But it's something that you, you know, you don't really feel like you should have to do in an RV. So, my suspicion is that this one, they either forgot to install the roof vent or you know maybe got in a hurry or something like that and didn't do it or they figured they just didn't need to and bypassed it to, to save a few bucks so what we're going to do i'm going to turn the camera around i'm going to show you what we got what i'm working with here and then we're going to go to it's it's a uh, what do they call it endoscope a borescope uh, a flexible wire that's got a camera on the end of it and we're going to shove that inside the wall here in a minute and take a look so let me flip this around and show you I've got a couple different projects going here at the same time. That's why the um, breaker panel and the fuse panel are open. While I was there, I thought, well, this might be a good time to open this access panel. It's just a, a vented, uh, kind of like a louver or something like that. And that gives me access up underneath. Um, you got two spaces. You got the space underneath the cabinet then the wall comes down they cut two access holes in there and then that goes into what I refer to as the underbelly uh, basically it's into the compartment up front and in between those two there's kind of a crawl space lack of a better term and water pipes electric cables and the um, the ductwork for the heater run through that space I have to grab a flashlight here we can see what we can see you can see the you got the red and blue pipe there. That blue pipe is actually part of the black tank flush. The two red lines, one is a, a hot water line that runs to the bathroom. The other one is the other end of the black tank flush. Fresh water line goes up, goes to a, um, like a, a one-way valve, and then it makes a, a 90, well, I guess it would be a 180 degree turn, comes back down and goes to the black tank. Uh, there's an issue with that also, but that's for a different video. The gray corrugated lines here, those are parts of the um, heater system, the furnace. And then you can see, let me see here, there's, uh, there's three black plastic ABS pipes. There's one, two, and three. This one on the far right hand side, I think that's the drain to the sink. The other two that run diagonally there those come up from the gray tank and black tank. I believe the one on the left there, I believe, is the black tank. Both of those come up into the wall, and they go up about five feet or so. The one on the right 
90 degrees over into a T into the one on the left. The one on the left continues up about another maybe eight inches or so and it just stops. There's there's no anti-siphon valve, there's no nothing. It, it's just open, which is weird. I mean, I don't know why you would do that. I, maybe they figured that it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, I, I, I don't know. But you definitely get some odor in here when the tank gets full. So, so let me switch. Well, let me bring you outside. I'll show you the edge of the wall here and then, then we'll switch over to the uh, endoscope. So you've got the wall here. You've got the, uh, this here is the air condition thermostat for the one here in the, the, the down, we'll call it the downstairs. This panel here, and these two panels, they join together on the wall. Well, this one, I don't know, it's kind of able to show up on camera very well, but there's, there's buckles in it. You know, there's, there's one here, and it kind of flattens back out. And there's another one here, flattens back out. There's another one here. And, you know, granted, this is Florida, so Florida is hot and humid. And I thought, well, you know, there may be two issues. Maybe the, you know, I don't know where this thing was built, where the Heartland plants are, but maybe it's there's more moisture in the, the, the atmosphere here in Florida than there was wherever this thing was built. So maybe it soaked up a little bit of moisture and things have expanded some and caused that to buckle. You know, it was cut to a certain length and essentially things have gotten bigger because they've absorbed moisture and buckled. And then I, I thought, the longer I had this and then I started experiencing the odor from the black tank and I thought well maybe that's not the case maybe the vent pipes aren't vented properly and I figured they would have at least put an anti-siphon valve on there and it's allowing more humidity and moisture into the wall you know that's also sort of exposed to the outside simply because uh, the trailer's not sealed up very well and that comes in from the baggage compartment down below which also isn't sealed very well. So that adds to the, the heat and, and humidity and moisture in the wall. So that got me to thinking, and in the summertime, the more humid it is, the worse this gets. It actually pulled out, and I've actually, I've already pulled all the staples out here, but I think it was this one, maybe, no, I think it was this one here. It actually pulled the staple out of the wall. You know, it, it buckled so much at one point. So anyway, I pulled this back, got inside the wall here try to get the camera where it can see you really can't see much but i thought well if i pull that open i can get inside the wall enough that i can shove the endoscope in that past that first two by four and then run back and check those pipes well they enclose the wall there with the bathroom the way the wall comes around to the bathroom so you can't access that so after pulling all these staples out for nothing i mean i, I still have to fix the buckle in the wall anyway but essentially pulled those out for nothing I started working on this side and this side it, you know I know it's dark in there but there, this set of two by fours there's nothing on the space on this side so I could see that the pipes basically run right here so the the one pipe they, they both 45 degree over to the wall here along the edge they both travel together to right about here and the one on the right elbows over into the one on the left and then they come up a little bit further. I made a mark here on the wall to where the other one terminates right here and it's just an open pipe. So I don't know why they wouldn't bother running that extra, you know, what, eight, 10, 12 inches up to the roof. It was not, it wouldn't have taken that much more effort. So anyway, let me get the bore scope. We'll, uh, we'll shove that in the wall and I'll show you what we're dealing with. And uh, then we'll come back and I guess we'll discuss what the options are here. So here you see the two pipes, the right and the left. They come into the T right here. And then they continue up behind this 2x4 just above. And we'll follow these, uh, these two pipes as they come into one. We'll cross over the 2x4 here. And then uh, we pick up the pipe again. Now it's uh, been joined together as one. And we follow up across another 2x4. We continue up the inside of the wall here. And there's the pipe again. Move a little bit further. I think we cross another 2x4 here shortly. Yep, here we go. Comes the, uh, the other 2x4. And then right above this 2x4, the pipe just terminates right there. 
and it looks to me like they left enough room to put a coupling on it and add another section of pipe and continue on to the roof. But they didn't. They, they didn't put an anti-siphon or anything. Now I'll turn the camera and there you can see the, the bracing and then the bottom of the ceiling right there. All right, so that, uh, that shows the wall on the inside. Um, options. I, I, I mean, obviously I want to fix it. I want to make it right. And part of the reason for this video is, is not really how to, it's more like what did I do kind of thing. So as far as the issue there, um, how to fix it. Well, I need to know what the exact distance is from the top of that pipe to the roof. Get myself a piece of uh, PVC, uh, well I guess it's ABA, ABS plastic and know what the diameter of the pipe is. I got to measure that. And uh, I need to get a rooftop uh, vent cover of some sort probably go with the siphon they they say they're pretty decent and it, and basically ex extend that pipe out through the ceiling out through the roof the problem is going to be is getting to it because they with the paneling on the wall there what they did is they put that panel up and then they mounted the cupboards on the outside of the the wall essentially fixing that panel to the wall so i'd almost have to take the the cupboards off to get that paneling off to be able to get enough room in there or I could cut an access panel in the paneling and um, you know just try to seal it back up the best I can with uh, maybe some trim work or something that's not really ideal I think that is kind of a shoddy way of doing it but otherwise I got to take the entire cupboard assembly off the wall and I don't you know the they don't make these trailers in such a way that stuff is made to come apart and go back together. You can do it once or twice. It's kind of like the access panel underneath the cupboards, underneath where the TV is, that goes up under the floor. That panel, you know, that, what is this? Uh, a lot of this, the paneling and the wood framework of these cupboards and things are made out of OSB, which is almost like a really dense cardboard. It, it's, it, I guess technically it's wood, but it's, it's just a, a really dense fibrous cardboard, cardboard that doesn't do very well when it gets wet and it doesn't do very well when you run fastener screws and nails through the same place over and over it starts to break down pretty bad so taking the cupboards down I don't think that's really a good option um, cutting the access panel wouldn't be bad necessarily but it's going to be pretty obvious where it is so have to try to think about a way to if I do that maybe to cut that seam as close to the cupboards as I can and then run down and then maybe I could uh, run a piece of um, trim or something along there to kind of hide that seam. I could do that, I guess. So I'll have to think about it a little bit. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to include the fix in this particular video. I'm going to go ahead and put the video up in a few days and uh, there may be another part to this because I'll still have to order all the parts and wait for that to come in. and with this whole uh, pandemic thing stuff is a little unpredictable as how long it takes to, to get things in shipping you know it's given me more like a, a almost a two-week window that you'll get your stuff and it predicts one day and then all of a sudden it shows up another day so um, I'm not gonna set this video on the sideline for that purpose so I'll go ahead and post what I have for now and when I get the fix and put it all together and finish it up that'll probably be its own video in itself so in any case um, thanks for watching and I uh, hope everyone stays well if you haven't already you probably want to hit that subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything and that'll keep you up to date on future videos including the other part to this one when it comes out um, if you like what we're doing here hit the thumbs up that helps out a lot and uh, helps get the content shared on the platform here so uh, hope everyone stays well and we'll see you on the next video